This is where the car sits right now. It's completely empty, completely gutted, um, no windows at all. I have it all taped off because tonight I'm painting my engine bay. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully I can explain this quick and painless because I have a lot, a lot of stuff going on tonight. But I want to make a video basically just explaining what's happening with my E36 before I just go full project, um, which I've already, I mean, I've already done it. The car is stripped down to basically a complete skeleton. But I wanted to explain basically my build plans for this project. If you've been following along with any of the videos that I've kind of been like showing some of what's going on and showing the progress I've been doing because I haven't really filmed a full video for a while. It's kind of been in and out of the scooter videos and short little clips like that. Basically, I took the whole car down to raw shell, fully building it back up from scratch. So, this is where the car sits right now. It's completely empty, completely gutted, um, no windows at all. I have it all taped off because tonight I'm painting my engine bay. But that's what I've been working on for like the last week now, is going in here and clearing everything out of the engine bay, shaving the engine bay and cleaning it all up, um, cutting my inner fenders out and uh, everything like that. I cleaned the shit out of the car with the power washer the other day. Here is a sample of the paint I'm going for. I'm not going to be painting the engine bay in this video, but I'm going to be doing it tonight. But that's for a video to come later, probably next week. Um, I'm going to be painting all the way, basically the whole front clip of the car, all the way around. And uh, I'm going to do the interior, it's the same color as well, just not tonight. Um, I just plan on getting this done. I want to move front to back, so I want to get the front dialed in, get everything running, make sure the car is running, and then I'll do my interior and uh, so on and so forth. But I got the motor under here. I I cleaned the transmission a bunch the other day. That's why it's so shiny looking because it was covered in like oil crud and everything like that from the motor that was leaking beforehand. But here's my engine. I cleaned this the other day as well. So it's all shiny. I got um, a new water pump pulley coming in. It's like an aluminum one that's all cut out. It looks really cool. Uh, I got brand new headers. They're inside the house in the box. I'll probably open those up for this video as well. I also got my lightweight clutch and flywheel in the other day. Um, I'll show you guys that right now, but before I get to that, let me get you guys to envision this real quick. So, I plan on doing a wide body on this car. I think I'm going to do the 40 mil in the back, so it's going to be wide body. I'm, on, I'm more of a rounded kit. I don't really like the way the Pandem kit looks on this car. Um, I'm going to have chrome wheels, and uh, I guess I'm going to leave the color of the car a secret for now, but it's going to be some Hot Boy Sparkle for sure. Uh, I'm gonna have full polycarbonate windows. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be running door windows yet, but everything else is gonna be polycarbonate. I need to get my fiberglass sunroof. Uh, I'm probably gonna do the ducts in these rear windows as well for the polycarbonate ones. I'm gonna be cutting the doors out. As you can see, they're already gutted. I'm basically gonna be cutting out everything I don't need and then getting my door cards. Um, been, I'm gonna have the diamond plaques right here for my feet because it's all like on level ground right now. So I'm gonna do diamond four plates on both sides of the car and then just raw paint. Eventually I'm going to get a cage, but probably not right away because uh, I'm not really pushing too much power. It's just going to be an M52, so it's not going to be ridiculous power, but it's going to be a lightweight car, so it should be a lot of fun. But once I do some more power, like a turbo build and everything like that, then I'll probably go full cage and uh, figure out that whole situation. Um, that's why I'm just spray painting the car, so it's not a big deal if I have to grind away to put my cage in and then paint the cage afterwards because I'm not going to do any clear coat. I'm just going to paint the car and leave it with just a layer of paint so when I go back I can do it and uh, so on. So yeah, that's the plan for that. I'm not going to be running a rear seat. I'm still debating what I want to do for the rear because I kind of still want to leave my stereo in here so I might still put my sub box right here which is like a cool sub box because it literally lays flat right there. Um, for the trunk setup, not too sure what I want to do for it still. But uh, that's later on. Like I said, I'm going front to back. But I definitely want like a little wing. Um, I'm not sure if I want to run a big like wing or at all. So I might just run just like the basic looking like M3 stuff. For the angle kit, I'm for sure getting the SLR angle kit. That's going to push my wheels out a bunch. So I'm going to have my 50 mil front wide body on this. Uh, also, I'm going to have a bash bar in the front. Uh, I'll probably still be running the stock bumper. But yeah, for seats, I'm probably going to do the same seats that are my bugs. The brides, yeah, pretty much everything else is just going to be gutted. But I have a lightweight flywheel and a clutch, which should add a little bit more power because it lightweight flywheels always make a pretty good difference. And uh, the flywheel I got is exactly half the weight of the OEM one. So 
I mean, it's not like a super big difference, but it's a little bit. I also deleted the AC, so I basically just have the motor just pure power as much as I can get out of it without going into the motor. I was debating on doing S52 cams, but I think for now I'm going to hold out on that. So I also have... I also have no power steering in this car and I did a brake booster delete. I have a Chase Bay's brake booster eliminator coming in. So that's going to be super cool. It's going to hide everything over there. Um, I'm probably going to get the uh, Condor steering column shaft majigger thing to get rid of this plastic Guibo thing. To get rid of all the plastic and the loose feel in the wheel so I can just get a solid shaft. Uh, got different motor mounts coming in. But that's all just little stuff. I'm still debating on what coilovers to get for it because I want true coilovers to get rid of the like the spring plate things in the rear. Now I don't plan on keeping this motor forever either. I plan on turboing it and if I don't turbo it I'll probably just like 1J swap it or 2J swap it. Um, 2J is a little bit more difficult on the wiring but something of that because then it would be some power and a turbo kit's probably as much as it would cost us to do a 1J motor. Here's the lightweight flywheel I went with. It's a 10 pound flywheel so we're cutting off 10 pounds. Um, aluminum, it's still decently heavy, but flywheels are always going to be somewhat heavy. It's 10 pounds, which isn't bad. And then for the clutches, I went with the Satchez clutches. It's what Daniel runs on his M3 motor, and it's held up pretty good for him, so I went with that one. Um, and that's just a, it's a springless clutch, and a pressure plate, and a new throwout bearing everything of that so it's gonna be a little bit until I put that in all right I'm gonna get inside before I start working on this car and uh, open up these headers and see what they look like uh, I got literally I ordered so much parts of this thing lately it feels like Christmas because every single day I got more and more parts coming in the mail so today was the headers oh my god box ripped on me still have um, I still have a few things from hard motorsports like I got motor mounts transmission mounts Stuff like that. A couple things for my motor. I got that pulley coming in. I have uh, some a coolant block off places. I'm not going to be running a heater core. Um, I'm not sure. I ordered some other stuff. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. So once I get everything like that, the motor should be going in. And then it's time to hook up my angle kit and get that front end situation completely done. And uh, once that's in there, I should have all the wiring done and the car should be running. And then from that point on, I'll move to the interior of the car and get that dialed in and then it's time for the outside. I can't wait. These headers look like I went with just some basic headers. Nothing too special. Um, I can't remember the brand of them to be honest but these look pretty nice actually. These things are probably going to be so loud. I can't wait to see when they burn, what color they turn into, because they'll probably be like rainbowed and stuff once they get hot, because they are that chrome finish. That's one of the headers right here. They look pretty good. All the welds on them look good, so. Man, I can't wait to see these in the car. So it just comes with some exhaust gaskets, and then uh, exhaust gaskets, and then just some like cheapy clamps, but. I probably won't end up using these because I always hear bad about those types of clamps. So, and then the bolts of those clamps. But like I said, probably won't use those clamps. But these things look pretty good, man. They're gonna look so good on this motor. I'm stoked because everything's gonna be like brand new in this car. So it's gonna be pretty nice to see it, and uh, I can't wait to be drifting this thing, dude. It's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. But so I guess that's all I really want to show you guys for the build so far. Um, a lot to come and a lot of parts to put on. And um, after that, there's going to be a lot of drifting to do. So it's going to be a fun one. I still got to do my uh, Porsche brake kit. I have a big brake kit, um, Porsche brakes that are going on this thing. They're huge discs. I don't remember the size of them, but they're massive. And uh, that's going to be cool. So then I'll use those calipers for my rear when I do a dual caliper setup for a Hydro. So a lot of things to come. I'm stoked. Um, it's going to be cool doing a bunch of drifting videos. And I can't wait to get more into the sport because I've always been so interested in drifting. I've owned like three different drift cars now, but I never was able to go full out and build mine because I never had a garage to do it. So I picked up this car, and uh, once I got my garage, it was game time. Took this thing apart, and uh, now it's time to put it all back together, but a whole lot better this time. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to get started painting this bay, cleaning it all up, dropping the subframe, everything of that, but that's going to be in a different video. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys subscribe and check out the videos to come, 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.